my categories of spending. I tend to spend Hey, what's up friends? Welcome back to another video. Welcome to my June monthly reset. I don't think I did a monthly reset last month. I think the last one that I did was in April. So I kind of have to do a little bit of catching up on my spreadsheet. What better time to do that than June, which is halfway through the year. But before we get into it, if you're new here, my name is Selena. I'm an economist working from home in the Washington DC area. I just share my life with you all in my 20s, living alone in the DC area. Just just trying to figure out this whole adulting thing and this is honestly a big part of that So I track all of my expenses using Mint. It's really nice because I can just go on here and look at all of my categories of spending for this month or for previous months for the last six months. I think I might do like a little mid-year reset or check-in. Let me know if you'd be interested in that by commenting down below, but it's really nice because I can just set it here and then I can look at it in form of a pie chart or a graph. And then if you actually click on it, it'll show Show you what you spent the most money on you can check what transactions you spent it on as you can see I spent quite a bit of money on Amazon as expected like I said I was really buying a lot of things that I needed for summer and that will come up in a new video that will be coming soon I bought a bunch of things in preparation for a trip so that's why my spending is a lot higher in shopping this month because it usually is not but with that said let's take a look at my total spending for May. So in May, I spent $4,832 so far. Today is the last day of May. So I'm pretty sure this is pretty much set. The majority of my money always goes to home. And I swear to you, I never spend this much on shopping. But apparently I spent like $1,700 just on shopping, which is wild to me. But I also bought a lot of things for my apartment. It wasn't just clothing wise, just a little disclaimer. <laughs> I swear I don't usually spend this much on shopping. <laughs> and then in home, I spent $1,400, which is what I paid for rent this month. Food and dining, I spent $840. This was the third largest spending category. And then after that was entertainment, $566. I'm actually curious as to what this is. Okay, so <laughs> this was a movie that my boyfriend rented. The $550 is actually for tickets to a soccer game that I'm going to be going to. And they're not only my tickets, so I got Venmo to back this money. So this doesn't necessarily all count. The thing about Mint as well is it doesn't take into account all the Venmo transactions where I get paid back. So that's kind of a downside to it. But because I personally know what I spent, it's not a huge deal for me. This is really like an overall look and easy access. And then at the bottom, I export this to CSV and it's so convenient because when you export to CSV, it just creates like this chart for you, which I honestly every month like to download and then just copy this and paste it into my own budget tracker slash spreadsheet that I made at the beginning of the year. As you can see, I still need to do it for April and May. First, let's take a look at my expenses. I really just look at trends. So if you look at January, February, March, I tend to spend around $3,500 on average. And then in May, I spent $6,300. That's because I had to pay for taxes for the entire year for YouTube. And then I also had to pay some travel things. So I paid for my ticket to Florida, but then I also paid for a week long Airbnb. And my friends actually paid me that money back. It's a whole thing, it's a whole thing. But point is I didn't actually spend $6,300 because that's way above my income. Um, in May, I spent around $4,800 and that's because in May, I was really going all out. I got some things in preparation for my trip to Miami. It's also kind of just 
for the summer because I needed some summer clothes that fit my now body. Yeah, because if you look at like the shopping in the past, I don't usually spend that much money shopping in one month ever. So for June, I think taking that in mind, really my budget that I want to try to allocate for this month is going to be around the $3,500 mark, which is around what my income is. So let's get straight into the budgeting section of this video. So this is my monthly budget. It honestly doesn't change a whole lot every single month, but I'm just incorporating this so that you can kind of see how I have it set up. I do want to say that I got this like template from Ukola from her YouTube channel, but then I customized it and kind of made it to fit my needs. So it does look a little different if you end up downloading her template, just know that mine has been a little bit customized. So my full-time job, I get around $3,100 and usually any additional income I would pay towards my student loans. But because I kind of took a little break from YouTube, I don't really have a ton of substantial additional income like coming in from sponsors or anything like that that I wish to add for the following month. So $3,100 is really what I'm gonna be working with. So taking that into account, let me fix up the monthly budget. Taking into account that I'm also going to be traveling, so groceries is probably not going to be a lot. So it looks like June is just gonna be a low savings month for me, which is honestly fine because I always contribute to my retirement no matter what. And I already have a good chunk of money allocated and saved for my emergency fund. I have more than 3,000 just kind of stowed away in my emergency fund. And I also started investing, but I'm not gonna talk about that in this video because I'm trying to give enough time so that I can kind of see the trends in the investments before I can talk to you all about it. So I'll see how that goes. I'll include it in an upcoming reset routine. This is how I budget. I'm just gonna keep my budget pretty basic this month, but now let's get into the monthly goals section of the reset routine. For the goals, I want to create a morning routine. It's definitely something that I've been wanting to do for a while now, but I've been kind of struggling with it. I think the summer is honestly the perfect time because the sun is stronger, it's brighter, and it really feeds my soul. Fingers crossed I'll do that in June. I also want to see my new therapist. I found a new therapist on psychology today. I just need to like take the next step and actually create the appointment set that up and make sure that I follow through with that. I have been walking around 5,000 steps on average in May and I really need to do better y'all. Hold me accountable. So I'm gonna try to walk 7,000 steps on average in June. I also want to sleep around seven hours per night which I already do that but I kind of want to keep it going especially in the summer where it's easy for me to get carried away and want to just like stay up all night. For my personal and professional goals I want to upload two videos every week. Right now my posting schedule is Tuesdays and Fridays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I want to hit 20k on YouTube. I currently have 19,000 of you and I'm so 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 excited. Thank you so much for joining the fam. Thank you for supporting me and for following along the journey. Read the Bible. I just I need to get better at this y'all. I made this a goal two months ago and honestly I just needed to do better. So I'm just gonna try to read one book in the month of June. I think I should be able to since I'll have a vacation which will give me more time to read hopefully on the beach but we'll see and then financial goals because I'm going to be traveling and I have not traveled since 2020 I'm not really setting any type of strict budget or anything for this trip because oh I guess a goal that I should set is to get my promotion So I do work for the federal government and I'm in a career ladder. So if you are familiar with the federal government, then you probably already know how promotions work within a career ladder. But if not, every year you get, at least in my agency, an increase in your pay, which is considered a promotion. It's not a new title. It's more so like you're growing in your job. Essentially every year you get a promotion until you reach the end of the career ladder. So when I first started, I was like down here 
entry level and had absolutely no idea what I was doing and then they taught me and then the next year once I was becoming more familiar I got a little bit more involved and this year is when I'll be getting the promotion and then again it just continues until you reach the end of the ladder so that's that I'm really excited for it something to look forward to hopefully everything goes as planned you know god willing of course those are my goals for June kind of short and simple and to the point and I'm not even gonna do like a monthly planning section I do have videos planned out which I'll show you real quick So for the month of June, I'm not going to be doing like a full monthly planning with you all because I don't tend to plan out my entire month, at least in terms of like my life or events or anything, which is what I plan on my Google Calendar. So I'll get more into that in my weekly reset routines. But I, one thing that I am trying to do better at is content planning, especially for my YouTube channel. I know a lot of you have asked me like, how do you keep track? How do you plan? How do you think of ideas? And the trick is really to think about what are you going to be doing in your life and what can you share that could be interesting or a value or just what do you want your community on YouTube to know about you. So these already happened in May. I already posted my Sunday reset routine and my self growth diaries. I use Asana for my content planning. I've been using it since like 2020 or since I really began my YouTube and I love it. I haven't found any other productivity app that I like to use as much for content planning. So right now I'm currently filming my June monthly reset routine and that'll get posted tomorrow and then I'll be leaving for vacation June 1st so this is why I really wanted to plan everything out so that I'm not worrying about what I need to post during my vacation so this day in my life video I actually filmed it the last weekend so I will be sharing that on Friday while I'm on vacation and then June 7th is actually when I get back from vacation and this travel prep video is one that I have been filming and I'm still filming right now as I'm packing and prepping for my trip so I'll be editing that during my trip whenever you know my friends take like little breaks because they also like to do their own side passion projects you know we love friends that are also hustling out here and pursuing their passions and their dreams so while they're doing their own thing I'm gonna be editing this video June 10th after I've already been back for a couple of days and it gives me a chance to edit some of the footage that I filmed during my trip to Miami I'm gonna be sharing my Miami travel vlog which I'm honestly so excited about don't judge me because honestly I haven't gotten the chance to do too many travel vlogs because of you know the pandemic and everything let me know down below like what do you want to see on travel vlogs I mean I'm obviously gonna share what I'm doing and everything but I don't know are there any like tips or things that you want me to find out and share with you so June 14th well this weekend after I've gotten back I'm probably gonna be getting my life together see so I'm planning my videos around my life like what I'll be doing that month and I'll definitely be getting my life together after vacation in order to get back into routine so I'll be filming that video some point after I get back and then posting it on Tuesday June 14th or the 17th sometimes I like just flip these around if I ever need to it's really easy to on this calendar which I really love and then in June I also want to film and create a 7 a.m. morning routine living with depression and kind of like an ideal morning routine I'm not sure if it's gonna be ideal or realistic I'll let you guys know I guess we'll see this is my plan for June anyway I just wanted to keep this monthly reset routine really simple really realistic I hope that you all enjoyed it if you did please be sure to like comment and subscribe it really helps support my channel I hope that this helps motivate you or inspire you to get planning and organizing for your month but with all of that said thank you all so so much for watching I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video.